This is John Fernay with WRNR 1031, and I'm on the phone with Marley Roberts, who is actually making her second appearance at the Annapolis Film Festival with her third film. And this one is called Little Miss Perfect, which will be shown on April 2nd and again on April 3rd. Hey, Marley, how are you? Hi, I'm, I'm doing great. Yeah, settling down. Good. It's been a long weekend. I, I tell you, well, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. And welcome back to the festival. Welcome back to Annapolis. I was excited to see that you're actually going to be in town again. So that's really exciting for everybody. I love Annapolis. I enjoyed the festival last year tremendously. It's one of the best festivals I've ever been to. I could not believe how great they treat their filmmakers. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing some really good film. It really has grown in four years or so. But I'll tell you, hey, right off the bat, tell, tell us a little bit about your new movie, Little Miss Perfect. Little Miss Perfect is a feature drama, runs about 83 minutes, and it's about an overambitious high school freshman who tries to control her life by controlling her weight. It's kind of her journey, a 14-year-old girl who is class president, gets A pluses all the time, and, and through this academic pressure and social exclusion and family disconnection that's starting to appear in her life, at this really transitional moment, um, she delves into this this online world of kind of cyberbullying and and promoting eating disorders. It's her journey through anorexia. Right. Well, it's got a, it's got a little bit of a dark theme, and I know Night Has Fallen had a little bit of a dark theme as well, which I saw last year and I thought it was a fabulous movie. Strangely enough, I thought it was a different film that I was going to, a different um, sort of a high school genre type film. And I'm looking for the comedy and the dancing or something like that, and it just didn't really happen. <laughs> um, no, not at then, all. But, but then, I, then I was totally sucked in there. You know, is this dark side of teen angst or something like this? Is this a is this something that you're comfortable with? Is this a, a theme that you're going to pursue in on the horizon, or is this um, you know, it's just not sort of in, how? It, yeah, well, it, it's it's not intentional. I mean, a couple years ago, yeah, we shot Night Has Settled, and we shot that in New York, um, and I acted in it, and that was fantastic. I learned so much from that experience in indie film, and and yeah, it was definitely an inspiration to go out and make my own movie. Um, with Little Miss Perfect, the idea of it stemmed from personal experience in high school and, and also an assignment that I was given at NYU to adapt a fairy tale. And, and we took Beauty and the Beast and took elements and inspiration from that and combined it with all these thoughts and themes that I had running around in my head. Do I intend to keep going with this age? I do like this age group. I think that there's a lot there's a lot going on. But I, I, I also think that teenagers are sometimes portrayed in this angsty way all the time. And that's mm-hmm. not to necessarily... Truthful. So as you watch Little Miss Perfect, which I'm excited if, when you come out and, and see it, I, I would hope that all the characters are really three-dimensional, that they all have some sort of insecurity, but they're also dealing with a lot a lot of stuff, and, and it all kind of gets suppressed and pushed under the rug. So yeah, it, it's a really intricate, and, and I guess because it's close to me in age, it, you know, I'm I'm not too far off from, from my high school years, um, but uh, it, it's just something that I, a story that I needed to tell. Right. Well, I'll tell you, you are going to be here in Annapolis, and you are also going to be participating in a panel on April 2nd, which will be the Young Hollywood panel, and then it's at 10 o'clock on the Rams Head on stage, and you're going to be on on the panel along with your sister, who starred in the film too. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be exciting. I I always look forward to the panels and getting audience questions and feedback and what they're looking for, and you can kind of pick up on trends and what people are interested in. So it should be great, and, and I'm also looking forward to doing that with my sister, who yes is, yeah. is in the film. Well, that. Um, you know, that, that'll be a must-see go to get a real peek sort of into what the future of Hollywood is. You've done two films, and you had a third one that was a real short, a six-minute deal way back when. I say way back when. That was in 2012, like it was forever ago. But, you know, as far as directing, I mean, you've got two movies. I've seen the trailer on this one that have really sort of really hooked me in, and I, I really can't wait to see the feature on this one. Thanks. So, yeah, I've been – well, I've been acting for, for a while. I started acting um, based out of New York since I was like three or four. So I've done a ton of stuff with that and then kind of crossed over into the behind-the-scenes during college and did a bunch of shorts and, and produced a bunch of shorts. And then this is really my first, this is my first feature film um, as a director. And so it's my baby. <laughs> Great. Well, again, Little Miss Perfect will be shown on Saturday, April 2nd and Sunday, April 3rd at the Annapolis Film Festival. You can buy your passes now or you can buy individual tickets as well. And all of the info can be found at AnnapolisFilmFestival.com. But Marley, if anybody misses this, what's next for Little Miss Perfect? Where can we keep up to make, to see where we can see it if somebody is not able to see one of the two showings at the festival? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if you can't make it out to the to the festival, we're going to be screening at the Boston International Film Festival, followed by a couple other screenings, and those will all be announced on our website. And we'll, we put up the tickets and any information as we go along as the 
the next screening comes up. And then uh, we'll also be announcing our release, whether it be digital or theatrical. We're making those final final uh, decisions now. Well, everything will be announced through our mailing list. You can get notified on our website and then also, of course, on our social media pages. Okay, and that is littlemissperfectmovie.com to keep yes. you up to date on that. And that will get you all of the information that you need to see about all the exciting stuff that's coming from Marley. Hey, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. And of I course, will see anytime. You- and I will see you in a few weeks. Can't this wait. Can't wait to I'm, see you. This is John from 1031 WRNR with another Annapolis Film Festival snippet. See you at the movies.